Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Sincerely KSO. We're going to look at more details today that have been sent my way on um, people want to get my opinions about things and I will be more than happy whew, to watch it. But listen, it's been an intense day. There have been theories, there have been discussions about racism and I just, please let's share our opinions and our our desires and our dreams our goals for ourselves and also be kind in the comments not everyone has to agree with you i don't have to agree with you but let's exchange ideas by having civil conversations in the comment i really appreciate the kindness that is being bestowed upon me by coming here and watching my reactions all right so this is another take on oprah and new revelations as they say play. the curtains are closed I know it when the cameras aren't running. That's why Oprah Winfrey does not want to sit down publicly with me nor my husband to have a conversation. Oprah Winfrey is a slave trader. What? Why do you think she has that school in South Africa? Why does she hang out with who she hangs out with? Stop it right now. Really? Stop it right now. Stop it right now. She was at... Rose McGowan has put Oprah on blast. Rose recently called out Oprah on Twitter over her past associations with some controversial men. Rose wrote, quote, from being Oprah Winfrey, you know what you need to do and stop hiding behind what you call was negative comments. When most people think Oprah, first thing that comes to mind is that she's a legend that's made her mark in the industry. And while this may be true, she has also managed to remain at the center of several scandals over the years. Well, it seems those scandals are starting to catch up with her, as she was recently called out and canceled by the vast majority. But I know that's hard to believe considering the standard she's created for herself in the industry, but you'd be surprised about just how shady her journey to the top has been. Good thing you have me, because I'm here with all the gist. So just stay tuned till the end so you don't miss exactly what she did that tipped the public over. And if the abuser is any good, he or she is going to make you feel like you're a part of it. As someone in showbiz, it's generally almost impossible to completely avoid scandals. But even with as hard as it may be, Oprah takes the scandal game to the next level, as the television diva has been repeatedly caught up in a series of less than ideal situations. And one thing that has been constant about these situations she's been in is that they usually involve another party. To drive mm -hmm. my point, let's take her relationship with Harvey Weinstein, for example. Ooh. Winfrey and Weinstein have had a professional relationship that stretches back two decades. There are many photographs of her kissing and hugging the mogul at awards ceremonies and events sponsored by the Weinstein Company. Ooh. She has starred in and produced movies that his company distributed, including The Butler and The Great Debaters. For those who may not know, Harvey Weinstein is an American filmmaker who rose to become the face of an abuser for the Hash Me Too movement. Per the news, five years ago, the story that had long been whispered in the halls of agencies and studios, as well as on film and television sets, finally became public. Oh A series God. of bombshell articles revealed that Harvey Weinstein harassed and assaulted dozens of women for decades and used his power to bully them into silence. According to TMZ, Weinstein said Winfrey encouraged him to defend himself publicly, implying that the TV host might have actually been on Weinstein's side against so many women. However, her people said they never spoke directly, and she was only interested in talking to him for a TV interview. Let's talk about what's happening with Harvey Weinstein. I know you posted on... So I think this is a watershed <laughs> moment, and if we make this just about Harvey Weinstein, then it, we will have lost this moment. Interestingly, Winfrey made no mention of Weinstein during her inspiring Golden Globe speech. She has made it clear during other public utterances on the scandal that the cultural shift underway went much further than Weinstein's crimes alone. In fact, an aspiring actor, Britain's Katia Noble, who spoke at a press conference in November, alleges that Weinstein forced himself on her in a hotel room in Cannes in 2014 and said he used his relationship with Winfrey to groom her. I mean, she could deny it all she wants, but this basically establishes a connection that just seems too close to supporting him. Well, in truth, we shouldn't be too surprised that she might have been on Weinstein's side. I mean, this is someone that lied to the world about getting abused in her book just to boost sales. That's right. And that's not even the only lie she was exposed for in said book, exposure that came from her own family. 
Although Winfrey claims she never had any new dresses or dolls and had to adopt two cockroaches as pets growing up in rural Mississippi, her cousin contends she was actually relatively spoiled as a little girl. In the biography Ooh. Oprah, author Kitty Kelly has Stop claimed that right Winfrey's now. tales have alienated her from much of her family. Where Oprah got that nonsense about growing up in filth and roaches, I have no idea, Catherine Carr Esters said. I've confronted her and asked, why do you tell such lies? Oprah told me that's what people want to hear. The truth is boring. Esters also added that the man in Oprah's life, Stedman Graham, was not really her partner but rather a fixture to convince her audience that she was normal. Oprah keeps Stedman around because she wants her audience to accept her as a normal woman with a man in her life, but from what I saw during those four years, I can tell you there's nothing there with Stedman, nothing at all. James Van Sweden, a landscape architect who spent years working for the couple, said the tabloid also quoted Oprah's father, Vernon, as saying, she may be admired by the world, but I know the truth. So does God what? and so does Oprah. Two of us remain what? ashamed, Vernon said. And you know what they say about liars, it's usually a pattern. This was further proven by the other series of controversies Oprah got caught up in as time passed. One of these was the case of the false guru she brought on her show a while back. Yeah. He is better known as Joao oh. de Deus, or oh. John of God. He's a Brazilian medium healer, subject of a profile by Oprah. Faria became famous for his intense methods of healing. Though he doesn't uh -huh. have a medical license, he performs both spiritual healing praying intensely for believers and placing hands on them to cure their afflictions, and what appear to be actual surgical procedures without anesthesia. Faria has been written about for years since his practice started in 1978, but an episode of Oprah in 2010 devoted to him raised his profile exponentially. Later, four women appeared on Brazilian television to accuse Faria of abusing them when they'd come to him for assistance. Speaking on TV Globo, three of the women described their encounters with Faria to host Pedro Bial on condition of anonymity. Dutch choreographer Zahira Lineke Moose decided to be named and said that during one of her trips to see the healer to be cured of the trauma of previous sexual assault, he took her into a back room and had her masturbate him. He then had her pick out a gemstone from a set and granted special treatment. She has also accused him of raping her during another session. You would think she, that she a went? scandal like this with her name attached to it would have been a he height. But as I give you these details, it gets even worse. Pause, 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 please. Pause a moment because I need to write down something. I, I'm trying, I'm trying. So this first woman went to meet this John of God, like Pedro, somebody, and he took her to the back room, told her to, you know, M him, and then gave her a gem she left. And then she went back. Is that what they said on this thing? She went back. Please, my, my legal brain is working at the same time, my emotional, uh, like, she went back to, and that's when he now arred her. Eh? I've heard of Weinstein or Winstein, how they pronounce it. I've heard of him and I've heard of how the women he because someone was saying that he's coming out with his own list because everybody's kibashing him, but that all the people he ever est with, I'm trying to be careful because of this, YouTube can flag anything and then make the video block it. He made sure that they won Oscars. And you can hear from what was said here that these things were not secret. It was whispered about in the hallways. It was so known that they even made comedy skits on him and what he did to these women. So these women, when they approached, if you're in Hollywood and you knew who Harvey was, you knew that this is what he does. But they all kept quiet out of fear of losing their jobs or losing positions and roles. But, okay, you keep quiet, but you stay out of his way. These people that I don't understand because maybe I'm not getting how things work or maybe because I grew up in Africa or something. Because if 
are you not the kind of person if you know this person is a killer or takes fingers let's just make it this way takes fingers ah the man at number 10 he ain't 10 any woman that goes into the house like her, her pinky figure is missing if you don't want your pinky figure to miss what do you do so now if this man had a reputation of doing this who who exposed him? Was she a current person or someone he had? Please let me know because I really don't know the details. Was this someone he had done something to in the past or that now came up and is like, you did this to me. I was innocent. I didn't know. And I'm fighting you back. I want to know, number one, not that it matters. The guilty is the guilty and he's being punished right now. But I didn't, what I didn't know was that people knew that this was who he was. That is what I find shocking. I thought it was something that, you know what I mean? Nobody knew because this person was saying in this um, clip here that people knew. <sighs> oh, okay. to go. The celebrity TV host set out to establish a high school in South Africa for just girls. But things high quickly turned a different Africa light not so long after its official opening. See, shortly after the all-girls high school opened in 2007, a school 2007. matron, Virginia Tiny Makopo, was charged with sexually molesting several girls. At hey. the time, Winfrey flew to South Africa to offer a personal apology to the students and their parents, citing her own experience with sexual abuse, an experience that, if I might add, her own family refutes. Nothing is more serious or devastating to me than an allegation of misconduct by an adult against any girl at the academy. Winfrey said in a statement at the time, I will do everything within my power to ensure their safety and well-being. But where all of this actually goes south is when it hit the media a couple of months into it that mm -hmm. Makopo, the same person that was charged for the evil act against those was girls, hired again. was acquitted of the charges. And acquitted. then shortly after, Oprah gets on the news to say this. And somebody, which I was trying to say this to my friends who had children, you're seven years old and someone is your It feels good. Can you imagine just how far she's willing to go just to push her less than ideal narrative? And to top all of these already terrible things that have happened on account of her one way or the other, someone else in the entertainment industry has called her out. The person in question here is the comedian Monique. In a new interview with The Hollywood Reporter, the 55-year-old comedian discusses both the origins and current standings of her public feuds with Oprah Winfrey, Lee Daniels, and other celebrities. Everything started in 2004 when she met Daniels. The following year, she appeared in his directorial debut, Shadow Boxer. From there, Monique says, she and Daniels never stopped communicating, all the way up to her starring role in the 2009 film, Precious. The film quickly earned critical praise and was part of the awards season discussion, something that Daniels, along with producers Winfrey and Perry, wanted to capitalize on. Monique declined to go on a press tour without being compensated for her time, and oh, thus the wow. rift began. As for why she didn't want to fly to France to promote her critically acclaimed film, Monique told news outlets that the same thing she told Winfrey at the time. I said, Oprah, I'm doing a talk show. I'm doing a comedy tour. I have a husband and I have babies, Monique recalls. Oh. I have a little bit of downtime and I'm going to take advantage of it. So I'm not going anywhere because I'm not obligated to go anywhere. I've done okay. my part. So well, true, we true. mutually agreed to disagree. That was it. And while you'd expect a fellow woman to understand that, it wasn't the case with Oprah. At least that's what Mo believes. Because according to the comedian, next thing I know, I am considered difficult and hard to work with. Adding oh. that she feels she was blackballed in Hollywood as a result oh. of the situation. And although this move from Oprah and the camp affected her whole life and career by extension, Oprah has to this day refused to apologize, which is why Monique decided to call her out again. Well, fans seem to know exactly what she is, and many haven't held back on speaking about it. One Redditor wrote, I've had firsthand contact with Winfrey. She is not a nice person. Stuff she gives away are given to her as write-offs. She comes off as a healer. However, she will leave you in the dust and ignore you unless you're on her level or you can help her. She was an FC person on my flight, and I tried to serve her. She ignored me and wouldn't even acknowledge to me if she wanted a drink or not on American Airlines. She's a total phony. Looks like there's a lot that goes on with her behind the cameras that most of us don't know about. Anyway, as with all other things in life, only time will reveal the truth. That's it for this video. Goodbye.
and that is true that is true if anything you see on this isn't that last time i any <laughs> time will reveal and i guess time is revealing a lot of things more and more i do i am aware of what happened with monique i remember that um, when she did the precious movie and oprah wanted her to go um what do you call the publicity role when they travel from place to place publicizing the movie that it's upcoming you know that sort of thing like just selling it and Monique is such a huge comedic star and you know in her own right refused to go without that whole part about her being um her being um family duties and stuff like that she mentioned it but I think what she, I remember Monique's insisting saying that she was going to be paid that is so um I don't know where this whole family making it seem like oh she's a family woman she doesn't want to go anywhere Monique said if you're going to take me out travel from place to place to place my entourage and I you have to be paid you can't just tell me to pop up who's going to do all that you're no hotels who's going to pay for that I'm flying from place to place Monique said no she isn't going to do that and they got angry because you know Oprah was like are you refusing me that's what Monique said this is Monique's site allegedly let me add that right now but i do remember monique saying in one of her interviews that one i heard with my own ear she said it about wanting to be compensated for her for her work not for the acting of the movie for traveling from place to place to promote to promote the film and before we knew it, it everything was falling apart um everyone has the right to determine what they want to do for free or not at all if you don't want to work for free don't work for free earn your paycheck you deserve your money you put in the work and that that's all i'm going to say about it with i don't think the more is it like i'm getting old the older you get it's like no one's hands are clean anymore everyone has like skeletons it's like everyone just open your closet at this point because you know i i wonder what's gonna cook what if i win the lottery tomorrow and i win like 10 million dollars people are going to go back into my college years and say what happened that, okay i better start doing the wild and things now so that you guys will have something to talk about because I think in my, closet, my skeletons are like i don't have even skeletons i have fats people they're people hey what where hey what is going on no but everybody's just doing and the thing i find funny about people even abusing it you have the money. So if you wanted to hire someone, couldn't you hire someone to satisfy those needs? Why do you have to choose a stranger, force anybody? Like, can't you have someone, listen, I like you, you like me. Do you want to sign a contract? How much do I pay you for your services? So that you just have peace of mind. Because apparently people are popping out, even the people you date. After you date them now, nobody, they come out and be like, oh, you did this to me. I'm tired of, like, what is happening? What is happening? At some point, men are just going to get blow up dolls and do their thing because it's, I'm, I'm like, what is happening? Are the people not having relationships anymore? Are you telling me every guy is a potential rapist? Like what? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Nobody is dating anybody anymore. If they date you, be like, I, I thought you guys were dating. And they're like, no, he forced me in the room. And I'm like, okay, have him arrested. And my question is, the definition of R is without consent. Where are the men complaining about the women? This this thing be I, I be aren't women also taking things without consent? I find it very. It's like when you mention thieves and you're saying only men are thieves. Are you serious? Women steal purses too. So where are the men? Why men men men? There has to be a movement for men. Oh, Johnny Depp did it. Okay. All right. I don't know. I don't know. Oprah is just, I, I, and that school, the school, the, the, she was acquitted. I don't know what to say. It's just, it's mind boggling. It's mind boggling. Like everyone you've ever held in any sort of esteem fails you well if you if parents can feel who who are strangers on all these people we just see them on tv we don't know their lives we don't know we're not intimately associated with them the, my own is just don't break the law if you break the law let let justice come after you period on to the next